taking a look at what to expect out of, we'll start with men's basketball first this season. It's a team led by Terrence Edwards. They have a few big time transfers joining the roster uh, to go along with Noah Friedel, who's coming off of his career worst in C in a three point percentage, but looking for a rebound year here in 2023. Uh, who, who should JMU fans really keep an eye on for this upcoming basketball season? Everyone. Okay. They have no, they're, it's like the same thing that they do with Byington every year where they're like maybe 12 deep. So I, I don't know exactly. Without a player taller than six, eight. Yeah. So they don't, they don't get huge again. So TJ Bickerstaff, I think is a pretty important name to know. Boston college transfer also um, started his career at Drexel. Good rebounder, good post player. He's going to get a lot of minutes. Uh, Justin Amati came back and suffered a leg injury. So he's out for the year which means you're also probably going to see Jalen Carey, a true freshman forward. I think he's six seven, six eight, but he's got a lot of size in terms of like weight. So six, they list him at 6'8", 245. So like a pretty Dwight Wilson-esque um, kind of body. Good player. Jarrell Roberson has some length. Do they they give him 6'9 on the roster? Yes. Yeah, they, I guess they, they also it. give they give it to Bakersap. Um, so maybe a little taller than some seasons. They've got some good players. I'm excited about this season. Um, and then a lot of transfers that like maybe will be good. I don't know. So they they brought in Bryant Randleman, who's a guard who can defend and get out in transition, but he's six of 40 his entire career from three as a guard, which is like four seasons. So that's like he doesn't shoot threes, really. Yeah. Um, Michael Green, Robert Morris transfer, probably going to be the starting point guard. Quincy Allen, ton of talent, right? Top 100 recruit back in the day which was like two years ago, uh, went to Colorado, didn't play had like a hip injury. They have Raekwon Horton, College of Charleston transfer. who was like a role player for them. And then, of course, they get what you mentioned, Edwards. They'll have Julian Wooden and Noah Friedel. So like they've got a lot of guys who could be good. It's just the same thing they have every year where it's like, what's the rotation going to be in February? Yeah. Uh, and if they match up with another dominant big like they did in the Sun Belt tournament against South Alabama, granted they did a good job of kind of keeping Kevin Samuel out of it, but because they had to commit so many bodies to stopping him, it opened up a lot of space on the floor. So that would be really interesting to see. What are your expectations for JMU this season? Is it to win the Sun Belt regular season and, and get a berth in the uh, NCAA tournament? That'd be cool. I Is think that that's... your expectation? I would say that's the goal. I think my expectation is sort of the same with football where I want them to contend for the yeah. Sunbelt title. If they're like last year, what were they fourth? Yeah, but, they were fourth and then made the semifinals. Maybe a little bit disappointing if they do that again. I think you'd love to see them be top three, maybe make it to the final. We'll see. But they they have enough depth, even with a Mahdi hurt, that it would be really disappointing, especially against the schedule, if they don't win at least 20 games yeah. and give themselves a chance in the Sunbelt tournament would be my thought so preseason picks Ooh. my mvp is going to be terrence edwards i feel yeah. like that's a cop-out considering like i think he was the preseason player of the year he was definitely up there who's your preseason mvp i'm gonna pick edwards i don't see any situation where he's not the guy i will say he had a brace on his wrist during media day he sat out at least one of the secret scrimmages Interested to see if he plays against Michigan State in the season opener. Yeah, because really that Michigan State game and really the entire non-conference, and I don't mean to poo-poo non-conference, but it doesn't mean anything. They're not getting an at-large berth with this schedule. Like, there's, they'd it, have to go probably undefeated. And even then, I don't know if it's a foregone conclusion. That you're only if Michigan State become, like stays as yeah. good as they're supposed to be, and you can really point to that and be like, look. But yeah, it's, it's no, it's just such a weak schedule. So like he could very well sit out. Um, I think when he's healthy, this guy, Terrence Edwards, he's going to be averaging 25 points a game in some belt play. He can score. He can rebound. He can pass. Like he does so many things that he's just going to be the guy. Yeah. Most improved. Oh, I'm going to go Roberson for the mere fact that I think he's going to have a really big role this year with Amadi out. I think he's one of the lone guys that provides length, provides height, provides size down low. And I say most improved because he didn't really play at all last season. So there's yeah. only one way to go, and that's up. Could like be Jalen that. Carey too, though, but he's starting from nothing, so I can't really give him most improved. No, first year in college, that'd be cheating. I would um, 
I'm gonna say Friedel. No, Friedel. Oh, that's think, a that's a great pick. I think thing. Great answer. Great answer. I think he uh, shoots closer to forty percent from three again, like he did at South Dakota State, and they get that back. He's also you look at the roster. It's like if anyone should be taking threes, it's probably him. They have a lot of guys who like should not be taking threes. Probably shouldn't be taking many threes. <laughs> Friedel is primed for a bounce back year. If he shoots 40%, I think JMU is the best team in the Sun Belt. I think if he shoots at last year's clip, they're a contending team in the Sun Belt. I think if he shoots what he was shooting at South Dakota State, they are the best team in the Sun Belt. The crazy part is that like all of last year, his shot looked so good and they yeah. just like didn't go down. Yeah. Hopefully it regresses to the mean, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Uh sixth man. Oh. Julian Wooden. They could start with him, though. I could see them starting him. But but I don't think they will with what Byington likes to do. They could bring him off the bench. He would be a good six man. He was I'll a six say, man last year. I'll say. Xavier, Xavier Brown. Brown. Yeah. yeah. Is Xavier that who you said? Brown. Yeah. he's my, I like him a lot. I don't know exactly how much run he'll get. He's got a chance to kind of back up Michael Green, I guess. Or start. He could start. Yeah, he'll, he'll be a fun one. I'll, I'll pick him at six man. Yeah, so men's basketball, they get their season tipped off in just a few days against Michigan State. 